Mitch McConnell currently right now, when you look at top ranking Republicans in the U.S., that's the guy. And it's a lot, it's a lot of his responsibility to make sure that other Republicans get elected. And this time around, other Republicans did not get elected. And Mark Levin from Fox News did a very long and very detailed rundown as to why that was. And when you look at the race in Nevada, where, where Adam Laxalt failed to get the number of votes that he needed, a very slim margin of victory for Debbie Mastow. When you look at what happened in Arizona, where Blake Masters didn't unseat Mark Kelly, again, a slimmer margin than, you know, not as slim as Nevada, but definitely something that was winnable. When you look at Don Bulldog coming into New Hampshire at the last minute with a, with a head, I mean, he had a wave behind him. When you look at all these races, when you look at all these people, when you look at the, the help they could have gotten from the Senate, you look nowhere further than Mitch McConnell. And... And uh, Mark Levin realized Mitch McConnell wasn't interested in helping any of these people. You had candidates running against these Democrat incumbents, and the Senate Leadership Fund made a fateful decision. It decided that it would provide not one penny of support to Blake Masters in Arizona, and it decided to pull about $6 million of support in the last week to General Bolduck in New Hampshire. Who's in charge of this Senate Leadership Fund? It's Mitch McConnell. And this fund raised well over $100 million. He controls it. He controls the money. $100 million, he gave none of it to Blake Masters. He pulled money away from Don Bulldog. Why would he do this? Well, the answer's simple. Donald Trump. Donald Trump handpicked a lot of these candidates. Peter Thiel, who also liked Donald Trump, uh, worked very closely to get Blake Masters' career off the ground. If Donald Trump endorsed a candidate, Mitch McConnell tried to bury them. If Donald Trump picked a candidate to run for Senate or governor or wherever else, Mitch McConnell, not only did he not offer his help, he tried to hinder them any way that he could. And in, in Arizona, he didn't give Blake Masters any money. Any, anything really would have helped. If in, uh, in New Hampshire, when the race looked like it was heating up between Don Bulldog and, and uh, Maggie Hassan, he offered no money. In fact, he pulled it out because he thought that race was un unwinnable. However, he dumped a bunch of money into Colorado, speaking of unwinnable races, millions and millions of dollars that was wasted. O'Day was a dead man walking when that race began, but Mitch McConnell liked him because he was, he was going to listen to Mitch McConnell. And then he did something which was really, really quizzical and really, really awful and really, really showed his partisan hatred toward Donald Trump. He spent money backing one Republican over another. It spent nearly $9 million that could have been used in Arizona and New Hampshire, as well as other states where they were needing money. It spent $9 million smearing the conservative Republican candidate in Alaska who was endorsed by the Republican Party in Alaska, Chewbacca, because McConnell wanted Lisa Murkowski to win. She's a sure vote for him in the majority. Yeah, now think about this. Alaska, pretty red. It's pretty gosh darn red. I mean, this is a state that gets about as red as, well, Florida. And you had a Republican at the top, Kelly Chewbacca, she didn't need to be uh, supported by Mitch McConnell. She didn't need to be supported by the Republican establishment. She got all of that support locally on the ground. In Alaska, she got the endorsement of Donald Trump. And Kelly Chewbacca was set to win, to, to beat back Lisa Murkowski, who voted to impeach Donald Trump on January 6, 2021. She voted for the MP. She thought that Donald Trump was an insurrectionist, and she voted, along with Susan Collins and Richard Burr and Mitt Romney and Ben Sass and Pat Toomey and all the others. She voted to get rid of him. So Mitch McConnell wanted Lisa Murkowski on his team because they're buds. And so he spent $9 million picking one Republican over another. This fund of money, this leadership fund that he's supposed to be in charge of, that he's supposed to be dishing out, is, is designed for one purpose, to get Republicans elected to the Senate. Republicans, period. Not Mitch McConnell Republicans, not John McCain Republicans, not Trump Republicans. Republicans. If Mitch McConnell looked around the map and said, okay, Alaska, looks like Kelly Chewbacca's got this wrapped up. Sorry, Lisa Murkowski, maybe you shouldn't have stabbed the leader of our party in the back. 
then he should have just moved on and taken the money somewhere else. Like, as we mentioned before, Arizona, Nevada, New Hampshire. Hell, throw Herschel Walker a couple more bones after all of the negativity that was thrown upon him at the, uh, the closing days of the campaign. Mitch McConnell didn't do that. He used the Republican leadership fund not to get Republicans elected, but to try and overthrow or to beat back a Trump Republican in place of a Mitch McConnell Republican, an establishment Republican, a Washington Swamp Republican. Mitch McConnell is, is guilty of dereliction of duty. It's not his job to play favorites. His job is to get Republicans elected. And if you see Alaska is wrapped up, then you move on and you take the money to a race that we need help with.